Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to revisit Remy's Realm because of all the realms I talked about in my previous video, the Forgotten Realms, Remy's Realm still proves to be the most useful realm, and it definitely deserves its own video, especially now that Update 4 has introduced us to hovering. And recently on Twitter, Disney Dreamlight Valley asked, what's your favorite way to get around the valley? And teleporting won by 48% compared to 23% running and 29% hovering. And I believe the reason that is, is because if you didn't notice, stamina decreases extremely quick when hovering around the valley. And perhaps this is the reason so few players use this new feature. In this video, I'll show you how to increase your stamina the quickest and easiest way, and you won't even have to use any of your own resources or star coins to get it. And maybe more of you will start enjoying hovering around your valley. But before we begin, let me show you the quickest way to get around your valley and enter different realms from anywhere in your valley. First thing you're going to do is open your menu and then you're going to click on the map tab and you're going to look at the bottom right hand corner and use whatever key or button it shows to fast travel. I'm using an Xbox controller on the PC so mine is X but your commands may differ depending on what system you're playing on. Then the fast travel menu will pop up and you'll see all the biomes that you've unlocked on the first tab. You want to click over to the second tab and you'll see all the realms you've unlocked. And the realms are the important part for this video because that's what we're going to focus on. And in a little bit, we will click on Remy's Realm. But before we do that, I want to mention that when you fast travel, you can do so from anywhere in your valley, as long as you are outdoors. The best part is when you leave a realm, you'll go right back to where you were when you started. And now that you know a little bit about fast traveling, we need to talk about a few things that you may want to do before you go to Remy's. You want to make sure your stamina energy bar is blue so you can enter your house and you'll refill in seconds. The next thing you can do is have a seat in your valley thanks to update number four. Now, it does take a little bit of time to refill your stamina this way, and it does take approximately two minutes and 20 seconds. I did time it. So this may not be the best way to do it, but I thought I'd share anyway. And the next thing you can do is eat non-cooked foods like berries, fruits, nuts, etc. I use gooseberries and it takes four to fill the blue. And honestly, if you forget to fill your energy stamina bar before you go to the realm, don't worry about it. You can eat for free in Remy's. One last thing before we head over to Remy's, make sure you empty your pockets. This will make sense once we get to Remy's realm. Let's head there now. All right, the first thing you're going to do when you get here is pick out your ingredients. And today we're going to make ratatouille. Thanks to one of my viewers, they taught me how to pronounce that correctly, and I'm so thankful thankful. <laughs> it's not ratatouille, okay? It's ratatouille. You want to grab each ingredient in sets of 99. I always grab three sets. That's just to get me by for a while because you end up getting like 297. If you don't have full storage yet, like in your backpack or pocket as I like to call it, just get three stacks. Place two stacks of each on the floor and keep one stack of each on you to cook. Unfortunately, you can only keep stacks of 50 in your pockets or backpack though. That's why I say just if you don't have a lot of room or if you forgot to empty your pockets, just grab stuff and you know buy all this stuff and then just throw it on the floor. And to make ratatouille, you need one of each of the following. One tomato, one eggplant, one zucchini, one onion, one herb, like a basil, oregano, or mint, because that's all they sell in this realm, and one coal or and no, it doesn't use your own coal. So everything that you can do in here and make is absolutely free. And I think it's time we now go over and start cooking because we have all the ingredients. I recommend that you mass produce ratatouille. So make as many as you can store on the floor in Remy's realm. And remember to leave room for the extra ingredients you picked up in the realm as well. And notice that because we only pick the ingredients that go with ratatouille, that's all you're going to see in here when you go to cook. Once you cook it once, you can obviously go up in the top and change, you know, hit Y or whatever it tells you to hit for all your recipes. And then you can just go down through your recipes and find it. And then once you find it, you can just keep clicking on that to start cooking. I recommend mass production because it's the best way to ensure you don't run out of five-star meals when you need stamina. And it is the most efficient way, in my opinion. And if you've already filled your energy bar to full blue, go ahead and eat two ratatouille meals. If you haven't filled your bar yet, you can eat three to four ratatouille, and that will fill both blue and gold, or eat five eggplants to fill your blue, and two ratatouille to fill gold. And I found that the actual eggplants are the ones that give you the most stamina in Remy's realm. 
So there's nothing else that you can buy in Remy's that is going to give you that kind of stamina. It's like, I think it's almost 500 or something like that. It's like just under 500. I recommend doing that to fill your blue just because I wouldn't waste my meals because you have to make them. So I wouldn't waste all my meals on the blue section of your stamina bar because they don't do anything. If you eat three to four ratatouille and two of those take up the blue, they don't give you any extra stamina in that blue section. So I don't waste my time with those. That is why I'd go with non-cooked food to fill your stamina bar with the blue. So as I was doing all that, did you notice what I was doing on the floor? I was just throwing all my vegetables down. And when you throw your vegetables down, you don't have to do anything. It doesn't matter what order you throw them down as long as you only have the vegetables that you need to make this meal. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and separate each dish that you made because you know you have a stack of them in your pockets. So you're going to have to separate them and then drop them because that's going to make it so much easier when you do come back and you need stamina quick. This also will ensure that you don't accidentally leave the realm with all the food you made by accident. And I did learn that the hard way. This being said, you absolutely cannot leave the realm with a doggy bag. There is no takeout at this restaurant. All food must be eaten and left inside Remy's realm. If you leave with any Remy realm items on you, they will disappear. And then when you go back into Remy's, they're not going to be there. The only thing you won't lose is the energy or stamina that you get from eating the food you got there. Make sure that everything in your pocket that has a little Remy symbol on it gets dropped inside the restaurant. The next thing I want to show you, I feel is very important to this video so you understand how good this system is of running to Remy's realm and getting food. So we're going to just do a little hovering quick and then I'm going to show you how quick it is just to refuel when you need it. And as I said in the beginning of this video, hovering takes a lot of stamina. You need to be ready for it because you can see right now how quickly the bar is going down. And I haven't even, I just literally got out of the plaza and went to the meadow. That was it. You definitely need an easy, quick way to get stamina to even play with the hovering feature because otherwise it's not any fun if you're constantly having to stop and cook five-star meals to re-energize every 47 seconds. And that's a lot of wasted food and cold war that you could actually use for other tasks or making star coins to buy that expensive gift you've been eyeing up at Scrooge's or to buy those pumpkin seeds you've been waiting to buy until you had enough money. But if you'll notice here, it only takes us 31 seconds round trip to get to Remy's, eat our two meals or whatever you've got. I always go when my blue bar is still full, but you eat those two meals and you're done. 31 seconds. So how many of you are going to start hovering more with quick access to stamina? How do you currently get around your valley? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to get free stamina or energy, whatever you want to call it. And if you did, go ahead and click the next video for more tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye. Happy hovering.